the Chrome team is focused on working with the community, which includes all of you virtually here at CDS, to make the web more powerful, faster and more seamless, and above all, safe. We've been working with the web ecosystem on a new family of web standards that provide privacy-preserving solutions to accomplish important web use cases, I'm happy to share that the first two solutions are available for early experimentation by developers. Last month, the Google search team announced their plan over the next six months to incorporate Core Web Vitals into their process for measuring web page performance. So if you value discovery via Google search, this provides an extra incentive to optimize your vitals and reach the three thresholds. Now, we're excited to launch the Web Vitals Report, an open source website and tool to let you query and visualize your Web Vitals metric data right in Google Analytics. And when you bring this all together, you can create something special. We're super excited to share that Adobe Spark recently launched an impressive new PWA. When you put in the work to build great web experiences, you want to reach as many users as possible. Today, we're announcing that Google Play is adding Play Billing support for PWAs published in the Play Store that use trusted web activity. CDS has always been about bringing the Chrome team together with the community so we can learn from each other. But we're doing our best to replicate this experience online. With a new experiment we're launching today, a playful online world where you, the virtual attendees, can interact as we try to recapture, you know, some of the joy of face-to-face -face interactions. So the goal of the Lighthouse Performance Score is to make sure that you have the ability to gauge how well your page is likely to deliver a good experience in real-world conditions with your users. Core Web Vitals represents the table stakes of any good experience, which is why we have them included in our scoring recipe. Not only that, but there's been a lot of work done to make Core Web Vitals more actionable in the Lighthouse Report. An example of the work we're doing to make performance impacts transparent is with the Minimize Third-Party Usage Audit. This audit is designed to help you break out what third-party code is impacting your performance and by how much. So we call this pattern a facade. Um, and we've been seeing this become a little bit more popular. It's a nice web perf friendly uh, technique. We've added a brand new audit to Lighthouse that captures opportunities where you can employ this pattern. Uh, right now, the audit finds opportunities like video embeds and chat widgets. Um, but if there's any facade that you'd like to see recommended, please go to the web.dev documentation to see how to submit them. Well, this is mostly a matter of optimizing our main thread. We have to take inventory of all the work that's happening, and we want to take that work and we want to break into chunks. We want to spend less time doing it. We want to defer some of it, and we want to just straight up delete some of it, just not do any of it at all. The seven audits here help with all those things. These links here captured some of the resources in this talk. For search rankings, we use the page experience set of metrics. These include a few existing signals as well as the core web vitals. Search Console is a free tool for site owners that gives insights into Google Search for your website. Once you've verified ownership and given the tool a bit of time to collect all the metrics, it's time to head over to the core web vitals report. We found users are 24% less likely to abandon page loads overall. In particular, we saw 22% less abandonment for news sites and 24% less abandonment for shopping sites. There are few changes that can show this level of improvement for online businesses, and results like these are part of the reason we prioritize the Web Vitals metrics. The search ranking change is currently planned for the first half of 2021. With this change, we're also making all pages eligible to be featured in the top stories carousel of the search results using page experience as a guide. Now, we believe that the privacy budget is how we can prevent browser fingerprinting uh, while keeping the web powerful. What if sites could continue using powerful APIs normally, but if a site uses too many highly identifying APIs, the browser could impose limitations to 
prevent the site from moving beyond the red line, namely to prevent the site from entering the red zone where it could uniquely identify users. Well, that's the idea of the privacy budget. As a developer, you would decide how to spend your site's budget, a bit like performance budgeting in a way, but the browser would define the upper limit and enforce it to protect user privacy. I'm Jake Archibald, and this is Beyond Fast. The quickest way to get text on the screen is to display it using a fallback font straight away and then swap to the web font once it's downloaded. But different metrics between the fonts can cause a massive layout jump when the swap happens. We can fix this with fmods. All right, next up, it's portals. Portals are a new HTML element that lets you load a page and render it inside the current page. Here's one. I've scaled it down a bit and given it a border. And that's everything I wanted to show you today. Like I said, bit of a whirlwind tour. I don't know if I've mentioned the links in the description yet, but there are links in the description to further information about these topics. Music